Okay, here we are in the backyard. You might see some bees flying around. There's a hundred thousand in here, he says. Four different colonies. And let me let me show you me. This is this is me. And there's Michael. You don't have a very, like, heavy situation going on there. What do you mean? You just have a beekeeping shirt on and a, and a hood. Well, I'll be fine. Because they know you. you. Bring your phone. You're their papa. But you're trying to tell me that they, uh... So you want to walk around? Here, my glove isn't on all the way. Can you, can you hold that? There you go. Well, I am scared. Because you're telling me that they don't know that you're you. That they don't think. The they're, bees don't think. They just react. They're bees. They're not people. They act and react. They're almost like robots. They're robots to do you, the... Do you think the blood cells in your blood think? No, but so I've... Wa I've walk been... around. Walk around. Oh, you don't want me stand to... in front. Okay. Just be careful. You know, I interviewed Paul Westerberg. Really? Yeah. That must have been interesting. It was great. It was a fucking dream come true. It was on the phone. It's the only problem. All right, so you're safe, okay? I feel safe. Okay, here we go. So the smoke is going to just... Tell them, like, everything's good. You can pick it up, but just stand just makes it. Okay, what does that smoke do to them? The smoke uh, calms them down, makes them go eat a little honey, and importantly, masks any alarm pheromone. Mm. And the alarm pheromone is what makes them angry and want to sting people. And the alarm is one bee saying to the rest of the bees... Something we have to defend is it's trouble. against. Right? Okay. So I could be a, a bear. Wow. Uh, Okay, so a bunch of them were over there. Yeah. What's just, going on over there? Well, they're just working over there right now. We'll working? Take, yeah. They're making honeycombs. Well, we'll see what they're doing right now. We go look. Okay, so hold on. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these... Uh, frames. Frames. Oh, and these are some of the things that you made in your... Uh, 3D printer. Your yeah. 3D printer. So the okay, smoke so a little is, more smoke and this device is is a smoker meant for this yeah it's a beekeeping smoker somebody invented that thing about 150 years ago oh that long ago people have been keeping bees since the egyptians the egyptians were huge uh, uh they mummified people in honey Ooh, would you like to be mummified in honey no i want to be donated to science so med students can look at me. you you're a, you're a giver to the very end, and then beyond. All right, so here we okay, go. Okay, so you're pulling up one of these frames. Wow, look at them all. Whoa! And I heard. I hope everybody heard that noise, because that's kind of a fascinating noise. So what you see here? Because that noise is a, a whole bunch of bees saying "fuck." Or, true or false? They're just hey, what's going on? Okay. So this here, you see how it's kind of capped? Yep. You can feel it with your finger. Oh. Very gently. Okay. Solid. Yep. That's brood. Those are baby bees. Oh. Uh, getting ready to be born. So it's really? a little smoke because they're a little like hay. Yeah, they're, they're racist, they're, these bees. They're like, he doesn't look black. <laughs> so this over here yeah. looks different. Yep. That's capped honey. Oh. And then what you see how it looks shiny in there. Yeah. Like it's not super bright right now in there. Yeah. That's nectar they've come in and they're drying it out to make honey. Wow. Okay. How long did it take you to learn all this stuff? Oh, I'm still learning. It's probably I'm in my fourth year and there's still so much to learn. So hmm. this shows you just a ton of bees on just one frame. This is mainly, uh, mainly brood, which is what we call the baby bees getting ready to get born. Hmm. Whoop!
you you poked it and it freaked everybody out or you're pulling it out well that he, you just killed some bees yeah well, it was he wasn't gonna make it <laughs> you killed the evil bees mm -hmm. oh so that's what you made you made this little holder so when you want to get in there a little bit yeah you your hands are free yeah so they're a little bit perturbed normally this is the time they're starting to come home from foraging all day oh because they spend all night inside this hive so they're a little bit like aggressive so, so when you say foraging you mean they're they're flying around your neighborhood trying to find flowers yeah interesting or water is that why they they were at that water uh oh look at they that need water wow that's a lot of bees wow yeah So I'm probably gonna have to add another box because there's an awful lot of bees coming. Too many bees. Oh, you're saying that these are baby bees to be? Well, these are the nurse bees uh -huh. that help them when they come out. Oh. But see how many bees there are? Like this is a lot of bees. Yeah. So. Um, too many bees is what you're saying. Well, it's not too many bees. It's just a sign when you have this many bees that they need more space. So. Oh. Tomorrow, I'll probably put another box on. Because they're starting to build an awful lot. But didn't your wife say you've had no, you have well, enough Well, see, they, you put the boxes up. Okay. Wow. These bees are buzzing around my ears. Yeah, so they're, I'm going to shut this, close this up, because they're not happy that it's dusk. And they're like, dude. Messing with them. But can you see now why I say there's how many thousands and thousands of I, I believed you in the first time. But, um, okay, I got a question about sex, because I have I always have questions about sex. Yes. The only sex that any of these bees have is with the queen? The queen has sex one time in her life. So she goes on what's called a mating flight. Mm-hmm. They're not happy now. No, they are not. If you guys ever wanted to see unhappy bees, this is, you're doing it, and I am feet away. Inches away. See how the smoke drives them down? The smoke does drive them down. Because they think there's a fire up here or something? Yeah, they're just like, I get away, I'm going to get away from that. And then uh, put the cover back on. Okay, but what about these bees flying over here? How are they going to get in there? They'll go in the front entrance. Ah, that's why you say stay away from the front door. Right, so I think this is the one that's going to have honey in it. Oh. So we'll show you what happens. So the pink one you have marked so is... these are two boxes. Is, is baby bees getting born. Right. Well, they're all going to have that too. This, when we want honey, we put these slightly shallower boxes that are known as honey supers. I'll Ooh. show you one of those. Ooh, again, a lot of bees. It's a good sign. Why is it a good sign? Well, more bees means they go get more nectar, which means more honey. Mm-hmm. Well, but, but you give away most of your honey, right? Yeah. There's a farmer's market in this town, right? Do you ever, like, get a, a, yeah. a table and just sell yeah, the, the honey? I, I could. I don't do that, but I could. But It's kind of a hassle. Uh, look, I don't really need the money so much, yep. and uh, I'd rather just give it away than go through the trouble of... The <laughs> you know, last thing I want is somebody coming to me and say, oh, you're charging too much for your honey, and, uh, and I have to like, well, sir, actually, I, I, don't, I don't need any of that drama in my life. I see. This is actually very fascinating to me. All right, now... You saw how the comb there was kind of dark colored, right? Because yeah. they've been over it a bunch of times. See how this is this bright white. Yeah. Brand new, absolutely brand new comb. Yeah. Freshly made. Did you make this? What? The wood stuff? No, no. I buy the wooden wear and assemble it. Uh-huh. Guys with more free time and all the right tools can make it. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. So do you see how how bright this looks. It's bright white. And this looks very different than that honey I showed you. Yeah. Right? And both sides has just tons of honey coming in, which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. So I want you, I'm going to hold the oh camera. Oh, boy. I want you to just hold this and feel the weight of it. Both, you need two hands. 
Okay. Holy moly, that is, I'd say, five, ten pounds, right? Yeah. Because it's mostly liquid. Yeah, it's, it's honey. And these bees are super chill. Right, because they're not really, they're not as aggressive for some reason. And they're not defending the brood. They're not defending the babies. This is just them storing honey. Right. But you can see the difference in the color, right? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah so let me take it back from you. Okay, thank you. This is crazy. Don't try this at home. Should people try this at home? If you want to be a beekeeper, sure. Okay. Try it at home then. Have you had any neighbors complain? No, they seem to like it. I give them honey. They <laughs> like the idea of it. And you know what you're doing. So, so see, it's not like they're... How much honey is coming in right now? Wow. How bright, the bright whiteness tells me it's absolutely brand new just from this year. Oh. Right. What year? So this is, this is circa 2022. Oh yeah, this is all absolutely brand new comb being put in. Is it hard to harvest this uh, honey? It's not hard, it just takes time. Mm-hmm. Is it enjoyable? Yeah, it's very rewarding. When the first few years when I didn't get any honey, it can be a little discouraging. Mm -hmm. But last year I was able to harvest three separate times, which is crazy, and 80 pounds of honey, and that felt really, really good. What was the, the problem the first year that, that, does it just take a year for, for everything to kick in? No, it's, it's like looking at anything. You can't, you can't go from zero to like you're an expert and everything's perfect. Yeah. So the first year I got bees, they was called absconded, where they left. They're like, you're a shitty beekeeper. And oh. They just left. So that's when I joined the local bee club. Huh. Started learning more. <laughs> the bees left you. They did. They absconded. <laughs> did you purchase these bees from somebody or did... Yeah. did oh. How, do you remember how many bees you purchased? It was a, a nuke of bees. A meek. A nuke. A nucleus of bees. Okay. Which is one of the terms we use. Yep. And um, then I kind of learned there's more to this than just what you read, see on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And that the biggest lesson is everything is local, right? Mm-hmm. Every location is different. Every colony is different. And if you're getting your clues from some guy who's in Michigan about how to do bees and you're in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have the same experience. Interesting. So talking to the local beekeepers, they would tell you, like, oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Or you do have to worry about this. So we don't worry about winter, but we do worry about the feral genes. Huh. So when you said you harvested uh, three times last year, approximately how much uh, honey does that yield? I got 80 pounds of honey last year. Mamma mia. How much does a pound of, of this kind of honey go for at... A farmer's market, you're going to get 10 to $15 for a pound of honey. 10 to 15 bucks a pound, and you had 80. Yeah. So you could have made $8 million. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Paid off the daughter's student loans. Right, let's switch position. I'm going to oh, look okay. here real quick. Are you going to, you're going to dig in here? How often do you mess around with these bees in a, in a month? I check them once a week. Once on, a week? On, on a weekend. I, I keep having questions for you that humanize these bees. Like, are they happy to see you? But your answer is going to be... They're, they're not people. They don't have emotions. <laughs> huh. That makes me a little sad. Because if I was a bee, I would love to be in this backyard. Yeah, well, I think they're... They feel good about it, like, as much as a bee feels good... <laughs> But they're not making any decisions about anything other than, hey, is there enough food here? Is mm -hmm. it warm enough here? Okay, because I do see color, I see three black frames. Yeah. Are those frames for the black bees? No. No. Okay. Wow. This is interesting. This doesn't look white like the last one. So they're 
they have a little bit of brood coming in here. Yeah. That's the kind of thing they make a new queen in. So they may be saying it's time for a new queen. Really? You see that. So and they can just decide to make a new queen? So if they don't think she's laying enough eggs or anything's oh. wrong. Oh. It's all pollen, the yellow. Yeah. And the shiny is nectar going in. Can you have two queens in your backyard? Well, there's a queen in each one of these hives. And a hive is... A hive is the set of boxes. So you have four queens. Yeah. So they're, they're pissed at the queen of this box. Well, sometimes they do practice. You never know exactly why they would do that. Mm -hmm. It didn't look big enough that they're really putting a queen in there, but the idea they're practicing. So mm. this is a frame. It's just made of plastic instead of wood. Mm. So some beekeepers like all plastic frames. Other people like wood frames. I started with wood, but I sometimes fill in with plastic frames when I need them. They're getting a little unhappy because it's almost dark. Mm. I mean, it is weird to hear them buzzing around my ears. And it is a bit scary for me because my body tells me if you hear a bee, right. there's danger. But it is really cool to be in here. And I trust that you know what's going on. Whoa. So again, just a bunch of brood. All that capped stuff is baby bees getting ready to get born. Wow. I was wondering if we were going to see a queen here, but see how much brood that is? They're going to they're going to be busting out soon, so I'm going to have to give them some more boxes to live in. Hmm. So all those will be bees? Yes. Wow. And this is just one frame. There's probably more. So, so we're looking at maybe a thousand bees mm -hmm. per frame? Oh, easily, yeah. Wow. Okay, how long do bees live for? Uh, a little over a month for the individual bee. That's it? Yeah, maybe six weeks. Uh, winter bees might last a little longer. Queen bees can go a year or two. A um, month? Yeah, well, no they wonder they keep trying to make a lot of bees. Yeah. And no wonder your wife's not worried about you uh, <laughs> having enough bees back here because they're all going to die. Well, like I said, if you think about the bees like blood cells in your body, right? You're constantly making new blood cells. You go to the doctor and they pull some blood to go do some tests on you. Yeah. You don't like, I'm dying. You've taken my <laughs> life force, you know? So um, you got to think about the individual bees that way. I'm going to squish some bees. When I test for bites, I'm going to kill some bees. Mm. That's just the way it is. But the overall colony is healthy, and that's what matters. Right. All right, that's all I'm really going to show. I, 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 think I think that's you've plenty. had enough, and yes. they're starting to get a little uh, antsy. Yeah, and I don't want to upset pond. these nice bees. Some of them might be dying by next week. Be gone. Where, where, do they eat the dead bees? No. They drag them out, I'll show you. They drag them out and mock them? How dare you die? Well, they're, the bees are pretty sanitary. So oh. whatever you is in the hive, that's not what they want. So they clean look, them out. If you look, they will drag the dead bees out of the hive. And wow. Pull them into the dirt. So like all of this, these are dead bees. Wow. They've been dragged out because they would fall off right here. Yeah. And they drag them away because they're like, we don't want dead things near our living things. <laughs> I love these bees. Thank you. Wow. Is it, is it what you expected? No. Not at all. Not at all. What did you think it was going to be? Uh, I thought they'd be more pissed off. 